I'm Carl Morris, JCP Provisions Manager at NLTG and I'm here just to explain what we're doing currently under the uh, pandemic and obviously what we're going to be doing as we hopefully come out of it very soon. So currently we're working with our learners online, we are using Microsoft uh, Teams, Zooms, we're phoning them up, we're keeping in contact with them, some were even dropping off paperwork, picking it up as and when needed and if safe to do so. As we move through the pandemic and obviously things get a little bit uh, more relaxed, we will be bringing people back into the centre once we've been given the nod by the government. Um, and I'll show you on a little tour of the building what we're planning on doing at this moment in time as we, as we open up to the public. So, do you want to follow me? Okay, so one of the things we're putting in place are entrances to all the buildings that we have um, and exits obviously um, and near the toilets and classrooms we'll be putting some sanitizer areas so we're having these built up by our team at the Cove who are doing a brilliant job so we will have gloves this is available for staff and visitors so we're not saying you can't use it we've got some face masks here and obviously we've got some sanitizer gel as well and obviously we'll have that throughout the building classrooms and any entrances Okay, so here we are in our IT suite at North Lakes Training Group um, and what you may notice behind me, some of the computers are turned around because we're making sure that people don't sit next to each other. We have spaced it out, we've measured it out two metres apart, so we can only get really four learners maximum in here because we also need the tutor in here that needs to walk around as best as possible. So we've taken away a lot of the equipment and what we will be having in some of the classrooms particularly in like maths and English, are pencil cases style things for each individual learner and they will use their own pen, their own pencil, their own protractor etc etc and they'll use that throughout the course. Um, we will be sanitising these classrooms each and every day both afternoon and in the morning. We have got some cleaning schedules up in each of the offices and classrooms now as part of our risk assessments that we're carrying out to make sure that we are making this as safe as we possibly can. Um, so equipment is being moved as much as possible, we're buying some computer safe sanitizer, so we will be sanitizing those um, and that's where we're at. In a second you'll see some images of some of the classrooms that we will be using and how they are being set up so that you can ensure that we're doing everything we possibly can to be as safe as possible. So we're in our workshop area, uh, this is where our furniture and furnishings course is, is being run by Lee Keller. Um, as you can see at the moment, it's not the tidiest of rooms, as you can imagine, we literally dumped and run, so to speak, as we got the call. So what we will be doing in this room and all classrooms, the whole of the building, is doing a deep clean everywhere before anybody's allowed back in. Um, and obviously we're going to use that as an exercise, so we're going to clear it as well. What we have got are some tables that we can't move as easily as some of the classrooms where you've seen the pictures of. So we will be keeping four tables as a maximum in this room and it might be that we only have a couple of learners at a time. Um, and we are looking at how we can use that. There may be some in the classroom and some down here using two tutors just to split people out and make sure it's as safe as possible. So this is our furniture and furnishing cell. It will be looking good. You can see what they're doing here. Um, and we're off to the kitchen now, see you in a minute. So as you can see, we're in the kitchen area now. This is where some of the learners will be continuing uh, their level one introduction to the hospitality industry. Some people need to come back to complete. They've done the remote learning, they've done the knowledge, but they need to come back and do the cooking and prove to our chef tutor, Jason Slater, that they are capable and competent at completing some simple dishes. What we are planning on doing, as you can imagine, is cleaning this kitchen down totally. Um, we are going to be removing a lot of the equipment and having some uh, boxes made up for each of the learners and our staff so that they're only using one piece of equipment throughout the day. Obviously they'll be washing it, sanitising it throughout the day as they use it. They'll all have their own boards, rolling pins, etc. Any equipment that they will be using that could be deemed um, one of our mixers, we will be sanitising that at the end of the day. Pots and pans we'll be leaving on the side once cleaned to re-sanitise once the loads are finished. 
We are and have been taking advice from Hindburn Council, from Hindburn, um, from the EHO about what we might need to do as an extra to what we already do. As you can imagine, we follow very strict hygiene rules anyway, uh, but we are taking further advice just to make sure we're doing everything we can. So this is our kitchen. We're going to have a look in the classroom in a second just to show what that looks like. But we're going to have a look at the equipment and what we're setting up for them. Okay, so that concludes the tour of our premises. As we all know, the pandemic, uh, everything changes all the time. So we will be keeping on top of it. We will be working alongside the ESFA, we'll be working alongside the government, Heimberg Council, to make sure that this building, our learners and the other buildings are all safe, and our staff, of course. Um, please keep informed, look at our website, look at our Twitter account, Facebook account, Instagram, etc. Uh, the details will follow in just a second, um, but please everybody stay safe, keep to two metres and we will be back very, very soon. Thank you very much.